What is reality? Why are we here and how does this entire system work? Now, if you're new to this channel, my name's Steph and I teach lucid dreaming and consciousness. So uh, you can check out my other videos if you're interested in that. But if you are a subscriber, if you're regular to this channel, or even if you're not, I'm gonna be explaining in this video, what is reality? How do we define reality? And this might actually go against what most of you probably know or think you know about what this world is and how it works. Because I didn't know any of this, okay? I just assumed that reality is what we can touch, what we can hear, and basically anything that we can use our senses to interpret. And that's the most common thing that people will say. They will tell you that reality is what you can experience through your senses, what you can see, taste, touch, hear, or smell. And that's not really true. Yes, those senses are important. And yes, we use those senses to interpret what's going on, translate it to electrical signals, which the brain then interprets and tells you what it means. I'm gonna take this in stages and just go through until your mind is completely blown and you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> okay, so the first stage, we have what is known as holographic or physical reality. This is what we determine as real. And for most people, that is all there is. Most people people uh, watching this and certainly people who you will talk to about this think that physical reality, as in what we can use our senses to experience, is all there is. That's the only reality. But you've got to consider that even in this reality, science has already proven that we see and experience a tiny fraction of the available signals and stimuli in the universe. For example, with light, we only see a tiny part of the spectrum of light. We don't see ultraviolet light. We don't see radio waves. We don't see any of that type of stuff. Any of those signals we're not aware of, except when we measure it using certain technology and materials and uh, measuring devices. But the signals are still there and they're everywhere around us overlapping this physical reality, like a staircase, a staircase of dimensions and signals, which most of which we have no idea even exists. So actually radio waves is a good example. Right now in this room that you're sitting in, you are being surrounded by not only different parts of the spectrum of light that you can't even interpret and understand, but all kinds of things like Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals, radio waves, short and long term, uh, frequencies and signals coming through and around you all the time. And most of those you have no idea are even there, but they are. And if you were able to see them, you'll see how completely surrounded by those signals. Now, even those signals make up a tiny part of what is available and what exists. So before we go into the really deep stuff, let me just summarize by saying we experience or we are aware of a tiny part of what actually exists, okay? And our senses are very limited in that way. So when we see something, we're only seeing a tiny fraction of what information is actually in that space. Uh, and then your subconscious mind. So let's say if I look at a chair, okay? I'm, st I'm looking at the chair at the same time my subconscious mind is taking in all of the information around the chair, everything to do with the colors, the textures, the everything like that is all going into my retina. My retina is then flipping it because it's actually upside down when you, when you view it at first, flipping it around and then filtering it through all of my perceptions, my beliefs, my ideas, my ego, everything that I have collected as I've gone through this life in what we call time, linear time. My experience of the chair is being filtered through that and I'm then able to understand that is a chair I'm looking at right now. But really what it is, is a collection of particles that have been collapsed from waveform reality to physical or holographic reality. Now this is very important to understand, okay? None of this is real. This that we think we're living in, this physical reality is not really solid, okay? Everything, as I'm sure you've been, if you know anything about quantum physics and quantum metaphysics, you will know that everything is vibrating all the time. Nothing is physical in terms of staying in one place and staying as a solid object. Everything is moving and vibrating all the time, okay? And in terms of physical reality, all it really is, we're all creators, manifestors, okay? So we create and define and experience the reality that we manifested and created. What makes it kind of confusing and it's hard to really realize that is that this physical holographic reality is a slow dense reality so what we manifest or what we create takes a bit of time to show up okay so the choices we make let's say if we decide on a goal uh, and we want to achieve that goal in ultimate or base reality we've already achieved it in non-linear time it's already happened but in this dense physical reality we need to go through time in a linear motion to achieve or reach that goal but really what's happened is you've achieved and reached the goal the moment you decide to do it uh, so reality is in, in that sense is basically what you focus on and what you perceive in this moment. Now, I just wanna to briefly touch on time because this is kind of a, a big misconception. 
time as we know it is a way of measuring our passage through this reality in a linear way. We go from point A to point B, okay? Whether that's from birth to death or whether we go from here to next week, all of this stuff happens in a linear direction in one direction, okay? It can't go back and we can't speed it up. We can't slow it down. It goes at the same pace, second by second, from here to there, okay? That is what we refer to as linear time. Now, linear time is how we perceive time with this conscious experience, this brain, and this physical body. But in reality, what's happening is it's more like a loop, okay? And now I don't wanna go too crazy in just this one video because this is very different to the type of videos I normally make, uh, but I really wanna start expanding your consciousness a lot more than just lucid dreaming. So if you imagine time on a linear scale is like a line, point A to point B. Now in the next dimension up, in the fourth dimension, time is non-linear, meaning that time is more like a loop, a circle. And so in the fourth dimension, you would be able to travel at any point to any point on that loop uh, and basically experience any of it as if it was happening right now. Now in the fifth dimension, you not only have a loop of time, but you have several loops expanded out and they represent the different possibilities of different timelines. This is quite hard to grasp if you've never heard of this idea before. But just going back to the first question, what is reality? Well, reality is our experience of a waveform reality, is that if you focus on something, if you allow and manifest something and you allow it into your consciousness and your reality, it becomes more and more more solid as we progress through linear time. Now, you might be just thinking, well, that just sounds like the law of attraction, or that just sounds like if you focus on a goal, you will eventually reach that goal. Not really, because they are symptoms or side effects of the true definition of reality. The true definition is that none of this is physical reality. This is waveform reality, meaning that we, when we look around us, are looking at an infinite sea of possibilities and ideas and potential that we can then collapse from waveform reality to physical or holographic reality. And then we experience that through our senses in, an, in terms of an electrochemical response where we get stimuli through our senses, it's interpreted and filtered by our beliefs and perceptions, and then our brains realize what's happening and decide that's what's happening. But more now than ever before, we need to realize how important that is. That waveform reality is in our control. So we can decide what reality to manifest incredibly important, especially with whatever's going on in the world right now and with humanity ascending and with everyone's vibrations raising, our consciousness are, is raising up. And so we're becoming more aware that we are in control of, of everything, basically. We can decide what reality to manifest and create. And we don't have to be bound by any of the control systems, any of the control structures that were there before, because they only exist or they only work when we basically enslave ourselves with that thinking and with that level of self-limitation. I hope this makes sense.